I just spent $22,000 invested in this. A few days ago, my mom and I went swimming and she told me a shocking story. She told me that one of her friends borrowed money from the other of her friend and went on missing. So I asked how much was it? And she told me it was about 100,000 RMB, which is equivalent about 20,000 SGD. Then I immediately replied, well, $20,000 doesn't seem like a lot. What's the big deal? Then she said, it's not a lot today, but that amount of money was borrowed more than 30 years ago. And that was a lot of money back then. So I went home to find out exactly how much was $20,000 worth now if it was blend 30 years ago. And I was quite surprised by the truth. It's now worth $50,000. That means the amount of goods that you could have bought with $20,000 30 years ago, right now you need to spend $50,000 to buy the same goods, which means my mom's friend, friend, my mom's friend, my mom's friend indeed lent quite a lot of money to her friend's friend. Now I can understand how pissed the other friend is because that is $50,000. That's quite a lot of money. It is today. Imagine you were my mom's friend now. And imagine if you can turn back time, what would you do to your $20,000? Obviously, we are not going to lend to the other friend, right? But let's see what happened if you just put your $20,000 in the bank and do nothing. How much is it worth today? And I was shocked to find out the answer. It is now worth less than $8,000. What does that mean is if you put your $20,000 in the bank and leave it for 30 years without touching it, you are still losing money to inflation. So I went on to dig out how much inflation is hurting us. Like, yes, you, me, your mother, your father, I'm not scolding anyone, but yes, everybody. I was shocked to find out these stats. So before you get killed by inflation, make sure you like and subscribe this video right now because it will be your savior. Ah! Jokes aside, I promise you that if you watch this video until the end, I will share with you step by step how you can actually counter inflation and most importantly, put your hard earned money into work so that it works harder for you. I will also be showing you the exact step what I'm doing with my current portfolio in order to protect my wealth against inflation. So make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell right now. According to Bureau of Labor Statistics CPI, here's the USD inflation rate in the last 30 years. Positive means your USD is losing money that year and it's worth less as compared to last year. And if you see the chart back in 2022, the US inflation rate jumped to 8%, all time high in the last 30 years due to COVID-19 in case you forget. Now, don't you agree that since the pandemic, the goods have become so expensive and that is due to inflation. So the same amount of money that you have back then can now buy much lesser goods as compared to what it used to be, which means your money is losing its value. The interesting thing is out of the 30 year period, there's only one year, which is the 2009 that US did not have inflation. That is the year right after the 08 financial crisis. And and here's the shocking truth. The dollar had an average inflation rate of 2.62% per year between 1990 and today, producing a cumulative price increase of 141.24%. What does that mean is if you want your money to catch up with inflation, you need to make sure that your $1 back in the 90s needs to be worth at least $2.41 today. And your $10,000 back in the 90s needs to be worth more than $20,000 today. And of course, if you have a million dollar back then, it needs to be worth more than $241 million today just to keep up with inflation. So technically, if you did not double your money in a bank account the last 30 years, you are already losing money. So the key is, how do we fight inflation? Because nobody liked the feeling that put all your hard-earned savings in a bank, you thought that it's going to grow, but then end up it's going to erode its value away. Nobody likes that feeling, right? Because I'm pretty sure by now you already know by putting your money in the bank is not going to help you to double your wealth. So the only way is to invest. For myself, I've been investing in the stock market for the last 10 years and I started small, but over time it grew to a million dollar portfolio that I am enjoying today. Frankly, if you ask me, I really felt that stock market 
market is the best tool because it doesn't require a lot of money to start. You can start with as little as $100, $1,000, and you can start to compound from there. For example, if you invest your money in the US stock market like I do, and you just put inside the broad index called the S&P 500, in the last 30 years, your money will be more than double. Let me show you how. Imagine today you are my mom's friend again, and you decide to put your $20,000 inside the S&P 500. And for the past 30 years, the S&P 500 has generated investors about 9.9% .9 annualized return every single year, making these $20,000 that you have to more than $373,000 today. That is over 17 times of your initial investment. Pretty amazing, isn't it? That's why I always encourage all my listeners to really start investing in S&P 500 because it's a very safe way to grow your wealth over a long period of time. And if you know how to use ABOS option strategy, which I also openly share in my free two hour options to freedom masterclass, you can potentially increase your return from 9.9% to 15% or 20% or more. And if you just have a return of about 15% per year, after 30 years, your $20,000 will now be worth $1.5 million dollars. Can you see that's how millions can come to you so naturally without you worrying anything about the market? By the way, this is also the exact option strategy that the greatest investor Warren Buffett uses to increase his return. So if you want to find out more about this strategy, make sure to join my free two hour options to freedom masterclass and I will put the link in the description box below. And if you also want to use this Arigato financial freedom calculator that I've developed to plan out your own retirement portfolio, all you need to do is to go to the link in the description box as well and have fun planning for your financial freedom. Now, as much as I'm passionate about investing in stocks and ETFs in the US market, as my portfolio grows bigger, I also need to be more cautious about it because after all, you don't want to put all your eggs into one basket. So here's my current asset allocation. As you can see, I have close to 50% of my net worth invested in the equity market, about 27% in cash, 16% in property, 3% in crypto, and 5.5% in my rainy day funds, which I'm not going to touch it because they are for emergency purposes. And from this table, we can see that actually right now, I'm holding on quite a significant percentage of cash because the market is all-time high and I don't want to invest aggressively in this high market. So what am I doing with my cash? Apart from putting inside money market funds provided by Weibo and Moomoo, and I think both of them are great brokerages account has been providing me very attractive daily returns since I put my idle cash inside the money market funds. So if you don't know what to do with your cash, I think that's the minimal effort that you should do, which is to put inside money market funds. You can find out about the link to register for Weibo and Moomoo in the description box below and both of them are running very attractive campaigns right now. But I know over a long period of time, money market funds are not going to give me the huge advantage because it's just barely scrapping by the inflation. That's why I also need to find other ways to utilize my cash and over the last six months, I think I finally found out the answer. After talking to multi-million dollar fund managers like Lauren, to learning directly from Robert Kiyosaki, to hang out and learning from my financial YouTuber friends, one of them is Sean, I finally decided to buy my first pot of gold. Not a pot because it will require so much money in order to fill up that pot. So I'm just going to start by buying like one to two pieces first. So later on in this video, I'm going to demonstrate to you exactly how to buy it and because I'm going to buy it on the spot with you today. But before I show you how I'm going to buy my first one to two gold bars, I want to share with you why am I also bullish on gold in the long run and how will that help to hedge my portfolio against the potential the additional inflations or the eroding value of the dollar. Now, number one, historically, gold has proven to be a great hedge against inflation. For example, between 1976 and 1980, the gold prices rose by over 800%, aligning with high inflation caused by the oil embargo and the collapse of the gold standard. Number two, it's also a safe haven. During financial crisis, investors generally like to turn to gold as the safe haven asset. In 2008, amid the financial crisis, gold rose by 163% in three years 
which is way more than the stock market because at that time the stock market was pretty much stagnant and in 2020 during the COVID-19 pandemic gold reached a record high of $2,067 per ounce so gold's value tend to rise with uncertainty and as you can see right now the world is not short of uncertainty and crisis with the US election coming with the wars ongoing number three diversification gold provides a diversification to the portfolio because it has a very low correlation to the stock market and over the past 15 years gold's correlation to stocks has averaged around 0.15 indicating a very low correlation which make it a great diversifier number four store of value due to the scarcity of gold since centuries ago, gold has always been seen as a store of value. It holds its value over time, particularly when fiat currency, which is for example US dollar, depreciate due to aggressive printing. So since 2000, gold has appreciated by almost 880%, moving from $280 per ounce in 2000 to right now, $2,649 per ounce and this has outperformed many asset classes. In fact, if you compare the performance of the gold to the stock market, since 2000, gold only lags behind the stock market by about 10%, making it not a bad idea for portfolio diversification, isn't it? Last but not least, global demand. I think it's very common that people generally have a sentiment towards gold they always see it as a value holder and not just common people like you and me even the central banks from the governments they think the same as well in 2002 global central banks bought 1136 tons of gold making it the highest purchase level ever since 1967 and it's usually driven by countries like china now you know chinese really love gold nice so right now i'm going into the platforms to show you where exactly do i buy my gold and how much do i intend to spend to buy gold today so after finding out from my two very good friends who has been investing in gold for the longest time they told me that either go to this website in dg gold precious metal or uh, Boolean Star. So both of them are very credible websites that you can buy gold uh, if you are based in Singapore like I do. So what I'm going to show you is the difference and which one will I choose uh, depending on my budget. So as you can see, when I go into the website, okay, for the first one, Indigo Precious Metal, and obviously you want to like, if you want to invest, you don't want to uh, invest in fanciful stuff like jewelry because they're going to have a lot more markup. You just want to buy like gold bar. And that's why I'm just going to buy gold bar, which is also what my friend, investor friend in gold who told me as well. So you can see that once you go in there, there are different types of gold bars that you can buy, right? From 100 gram to like one kilogram to like 50 gram and all this. So once again, it depends on your budget. From $10,000, it can go up to like $100,000, depending on how heavy the gold bar is. So what I am thinking about is I'm just because I'm doing dollar cost averaging, I do not want to like invest $100,000 immediately into the current gold price because as you can see, the current gold price right now has actually jumped quite a lot, right? And especially in the past, like um, like since 2022 until now, in about two years time, it went up 66%. So I don't know whether the market is coming down or not potentially because it went all the way up. But once again, I'm not in it for the short term. I'm in it for the long haul. So I know over time, despite that, let's say I really, I'm so unlucky, I bought it at a peak. Well, it's still going to go up in the long, longest period of time, right? As you can see, I mean, like if you hold on to your goal long enough, you will make money. But there's a lot of volatility in between. So that's why I think it's very important that you diversify your portfolio. You don't want to invest one lump sum. You do dollar cost averaging, which is what I'm intending to do as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do dollar cost averaging and I buy like a 100 gram gold bar 
uh, for the next one year, right? And every month or every once, every two months, I'm just going to collect another 100 gram, another 100, 100 gram until I reach my 5 to 10% of my portfolio. So that's why I will actually choose those 100 gram gold bar instead um, and uh, decide which one is the best options for 100 gram. So as you can see, even on the 100 gram gold bar, there are a few different prices, right? For example, this one, it's uh, 11,333. One. I'm just going to shortlist this. And there is also, this one is under pre-sale. I think there's some slightly fancy print on it. And that's why it's slightly more expensive, like $60 more. But I'm just going to open it to check it out more. And then there's also this one. Okay. Uh, best price, 387 versus 331. Well, the first one is still the best price though. But well, let's just check it out. And then... What else is 100 gram? Okay, this one is 100 gram. Okay, this seems like a best price so far, 308. Okay, so if you don't want to buy the 100 gram, you can also start with like a 50 gram or like even two gram that like you can start with 200, 200 over dollars where you can buy your first gold bar. I don't see any more 100 gram. That's it. Okay, so on this website, this is the best I can get, which are the these few uh prices right so now let's take a look all right so the lowest price if i buy one to seven so they have different range if you buy one to seven gold bars you will be paying one one three six one as of today if you buy more then you have slightly more discount okay so that's usually how it goes by buying in bulk so the price premium that you paid is 1.54 percent and the spread is 3.31 so now let's take a look at the other one. This is actually 11400. And you can see the price premium that you pay is actually more. I'm just going to cross this because it doesn't seem to make any sense to pay more. How about this? The price premium is 1.91%. And this one is 1.4%. So, well, this one is cheaper. Yeah, indeed, because the price is 1142 something. And this one is 113 something. So that's why I don't think I want to pay for this as well because it's basically the same purity once again the premium seems to be the lowest this is 1.4 previously and this is 1.2 so this is the lowest premium this one you can only get like a really great price as shown here if you buy 10 or more which i'm not going to buy 10 or more so it doesn't make sense then it's probably best with uh this one then how about the other website remember uh my very good friend uh lauren uh he's also a multi-million dollar portfolio manager he invests in gold as well he also shared with me this website okay um and let's take a look at whether this one has better deal so this one is also gold bar i'm just going to go into gold bar uh we can check out the 100 gram gold bar which is i think i think now what i need to do is uh go and ask my friend like which one because there's so many hundred gram that it's almost the same, doesn't make any difference. So I'm going to ask my friend, I'll get back to you in a while. So I have checked my particular question with my long-term gold investor friend, Lauren, and this is his advice, right? He said that uh, we should stick to LBMA approved refiners, uh, such as Metalor, uh, Agor, PAMP, and all this, right? And avoid anything that has Chinese New Year commemoration because you are going to pay more and the premium is not going to be worth it. It's just additional design. As you can see, there is not much a lot of difference when it comes to the 100 gram gold bar. So you can just go with whichever that you felt that you like the design and uh, you are comfortable with the, the, the slight price difference. I think it's okay. However, if you are looking for like buying one kilogram kind of gold bar, then I feel that this website, which is Bullion Star, actually provides a better price. So for Sing Dollars, one kilogram gold bar uh, under Bullion Star, this one, it's um 11768, right? And if you were to buy from the other website, which is over here, it's 112506. So you can see that there's quite a, a significant difference about like 800 over dollars in terms of one kilogram gold bar. So if you're buying one kilogram, I would say that you will probably be a lot better going for Bullion Star. But if you are buying like a 100 gram gold bar, then there's not much difference in terms of prices. Yeah, so that's why I'm just going to go with this one because next week I'm actually meeting my friend over here. And uh, he's this is the first time of me going buying gold bar. I just want to make sure that 
I know exactly what to do. I can even ask him more questions in person when I collect the gold bar with him in store. So right now I'm just going to buy two gold bar and uh, over here, okay, you can see each price is about 11,000 over dollars and buying two and there's a slight discount when I apply for Sean Fu's uh, coupon. So huge shout out to his channel. You can uh, also apply his coupon and get some slight discount. Not a lot, but better than nothing. And then after that, uh, I'm just going to do bank transfer. I'm just going to place my order here now. Okay, so I will receive a confirmation email invoice from Indigo Precious Metals. And from here, I need to do on uh, 16th of October, which is tomorrow. I make the payment transfer $22,000 to buy my first two 100 gram gold bar. To be honest, I get a little bit nervous as well because at the end of the day, it's not a small amount of money. I'll be collecting my gold bar next week uh, and to really have a sense of what is it actually like, 100 gram, how heavy it is. I can't wait to hold it in my hand. So from now on, I will be also making some updates video whenever I buy another gold bar. If you like that, please comment go in the chat. Then I know that you love these kind of videos and I will share more updates about why I buy gold, maybe some additional insights and all this. And uh, yeah, I'll be also uploading another video next week when I go to collect my gold bar. So make sure you subscribe for more and uh, stay tuned for more gold and of course other investing updates as well. So what's my gold investment plan? I plan to invest about 5 to 10% of my portfolio in gold in the next one to two years. But instead of doing a lump sum investing, I decided to do dollar cost average like how I'm doing doing to the stock market as well because nobody can truly know when is the bottom and when is the peak for gold prices. Lastly, I think it's also important to note that in a long period of time, stock market still outperforms gold. As you can see, the longer you stretch your horizon, the difference between investing in gold and the stock market gets wider and wider. That's why for myself, I'm only putting in 5 to 10% into gold, but the majority, which is right now about 50%, still inside the stock market. So if you want to make sure you capture both both asset growth and use stock market as a tool to increase your return as well, then do join my free two-hour options to Freedom Masterclass where you're going to learn how to get started investing the right way even as a complete beginner. The link is in the description box below. Also remember to join my Telegram for additional investing tips and updates. I hope you enjoyed today's video and as usual, happy investing and thanks for watching. I really appreciate you. And no matter where you are right now, whether you are a beginner investor or maybe you are struggling in your investing process, I just want to say that I'm here for you and I truly believe that you can overcome any challenges to become a great investor on your own. I really thank you for your time for investing in your own financial education and that's why you finished this video and I can't wait to see you in my next video to find out exactly why your net worth will explode after 100k. I will see you in the next video. Arigato!